today I'm reviewing a buddy clip from Cincy of Vlad the Bat. And I reviewed the large version of him a few years ago. That was an earlier cringeworthy video, but I'm too lazy to delete it. But there he is. And he's um, available on eBay now. It's not as much from Cincy anymore because it's discontinued. But... I will link my video review of him below that I'm too lazy to redo. And here's a cute little buddy clip. Now, when I first got this, I saw the price and kind of cringed because I buy little clips all the time of little ghosts and other things from like Creepy Co. or um, the Beanie Boos. And they're like a few dollars. And it's like, this was $15. So I'm going, I don't know. But I love this big guy so much. And it's a miniature version of him with different scents. So I had to do it, and it's actually worth it, and I'll go into why in the review. But I will say the only negative I have is that Scentsy shipping is like $8. It's insane. Um, they use UPS, which I don't love for reasons of they will give my stuff to somebody else and not deliver my stuff to me, and they'll just leave it outside and not have you sign or anything, and I don't see why they're better than USPS. They're a lot more money, and they take longer to get to you. So those of you who love UPS, you have the right, but those are my justified reasons for not. UPS always takes a lot longer to arrive at your house than USPS, and they're a lot more expensive, so I don't understand why they're valued at all. I don't get it. Um, anyway, so he came in this cute little can, which upped the value because it's hard plastic, and you can keep it, and it's airtight, and you can keep stuff in it. I think that is to keep the scent nice. I don't order from Scentsy a lot because I get my cheap candles and to me they're just as good. Um, I'm sure candle connoisseurs get it, but I don't care. Um, so I've, I've never ordered from them before. Um, that's why I was surprised about the shipping. But this can has really cute pictures and I'm going to use it maybe to keep herbs in or something because it's airtight and this is the top of the lid. It even has a picture of Vlad and the Scentsy thing and here's the rest of the can before we open him. Here it says body clip, then names him Vlad the Bad, adorable picture of him very authentic, and underneath it says oodles of orange, also in orange color, like oodles of noodles, except oodles of orange for Halloween. Orange! And I know they picked that because Halloween, like Gomez says, um, pumpkins are orange, but I don't really consider the smell of orange halloween -y, so I didn't get that. Um, the large Vlad the Bad that we have that always sits here is actually smelling like pumpkin. On Mama Otter's tidbits, Charlotte got him for me for Christmas one year, and he's, he still smells like pumpkin like two years later. It's amazing. But I'm thinking this one has orange and then has like pineapple too, so it's like citrusy, which to me, I'm thinking that's not Halloween or fall. What are y'all doing, Sensei? Like, really? And then I'm like, wait a minute. If you think about trick or treating and you think about lollipops and stuff, they're those fruity flavors. So when I smell him, that's what comes to mind. This airtight can does keep his scent perfectly fresh and wonderful. And the can even smells like him. So if you end up not keeping him on all the time, whatever you got him on, you can always keep him in this can and it will probably prolong the scent. Although my scent on the big one is still chilling. Here he is, you guys. And if you're new, by the way, I'm Morticia. Gomez is behind the camera. And we are two of the uh, creepiest people on YouTube, probably. We do all kinds of spooky videos, all different sorts. So check out our playlists. And subscribe and hang out with us. So this is our Vlad. Unlike the big one, he doesn't have wire in the wings where you can position them, but he's the same fabric all over um, that the big one is. And he is a good size. I mean, he's like, here's my hand. I think my hand is at least like seven inches and he's like filling it up and he's wide. So he's bigger than most clips. Um, not all clips. I have a Sully clip that's about this size. It's a good Clip, but this one's a little heavier because of the scented stuff inside his body so that's really cool um, his legs and wings and insides of his ears are like a really soft velvet and his head and body are like um, it has these little tufts of hair I guess like the hair on the bat body would be or the fur so it looks interesting but the body's kind of made out of a weird fabric um, it feels odd but I assume it's because as I said in the video um, review of his big version so the scent can come through they had to make it porous and I think it's cute um, Aunt Tabitha goes it looks totally like somebody washed it or it's been through something already I would not know it was new so she doesn't appreciate the make of Vlad but I love him love him love him 
And I know that the reason is probably um, so it's porous and you can smell the scent because that's what Scentsy does. They have all kinds of little animal buddy clips. I know they have a dragon and maybe a bear of some sort and something else. I don't know, but this is the one that spoke to me, obviously. This is what they have out now for Halloween. And he has a nice sturdy clip. I clipped him onto my cat purse today. But you can clip them onto a backpack or book bag and they sell them for kids, of course. But I mean, like, you know, he's adorable. He smells good. And I had to have him for Halloween. So that is one of the things that Scentsy has out for Halloween. Um, I'm going to link below the girl that I ordered him from. She is a consultant, Kristen Miller, and I have a link from her of their whole fall lines. So I'll put that in the write-up. And if you order, go through her because she's really good. I got him, when I first ordered him, I paid my 15 bucks plus eight shipping and waited like over a week, almost two, before they finally sent him, which kind of annoyed me because I'm thinking if I pay way too much and then you know, the shipping, and then you take forever, like, that's not cool. And then UPS brought me somebody's boring t-shirts from Amazon the day I was supposed to get him. And the guy ran, he just put him down and ran, so I only had the package like three seconds, realized it wasn't mine, he was long gone. They like put stuff down, and then it's like a marathon from UPS to get away from my house. I don't know, they're scared of us or something. So... I got, I called Amazon and said, I have this person's package, what up? And they're like, oh, just keep it they'll just call and get it again. Did you open it? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, keep it. And then I opened it and it was four plain kind of purple gray big t-shirts. And I'm like, that's why they told me to keep it. Oh my God. It was probably going to cost more to get UPS to come back and get the t-shirts than what they were worth. So it sucks. I get free stuff I'm told to keep and it's not even good stuff. And the chick that was supposed to get the bat, interestingly enough, her name was Sarah Murray, as in Mina Murray, is spelled the same way, who is like Vlad's woman, get it, Vlad the bat. So Vlad wanted to go to her first, apparently, because when I got her shirts, it was the same time UPS claimed my bat got delivered. So you know she got this cute little thing in his cute little container, and you know she was like, oh, this is better than my shirts, I'm keeping this. Mm. And it smelled good too, oh yeah. So that's what happened with that. Um, so. It was like a day later, I looked, I'm like, where is my Scentsy bat? It's been forever. I looked, and I'm like, they said it was delivered yesterday. Oh, no way, no way, no way, it was not. And then I called, and I'm like, dude, and Kristen was all on it. She got it fixed. She got me another one sent out. And I just wanted to say, Scentsy sent my second one out way faster than my first one. After the first time it went down, I got him a week later. So the, the not bat t-shirts were delivered last Monday. I got him Monday yesterday. So, a week later, it was fixed. So, when Sensi wants to be on it, they can. The first time, they were just like, eh, we'll get it out whenever. The second time, they were like, okay, she's not happy. She lost her stuff. We're going to get it out now. So, Sensi, faster shipping when you charge $8 would be good, like the second time. And I do appreciate they replaced my product right away. And I told them the address and everything um, that UPS probably delivered mine to because I got hers. And I think UPS, I mean, when they charge that much, they do not need to screw up. It wasn't even, like, next door. It was a different street. It was, like, not at my house. So, I don't know. That was my UPS story, and that's one reason I'm just not in love with them, other than their prices and the fact they take forever. Um, but I know some businesses like to work with them, so it's convenient for them, if not for us. And I don't like that either, because it should be about your customers. But, um, anyway, since he handled it well, Kristen was very helpful, and she just went out of her way, and I appreciate that. So, I would say order from Kristen, because if you have trouble with Scentsy, she will be there. And it costs the same to do it or not to do it. So, help a girl out. I will link her below. And, um, again, my main issue is the, the time Scentsy takes to send it. Like, the replacement was really fast. The first one was not. And maybe if they sent it faster, it would have been a different day, and I wouldn't have got homegirl shirts. I don't know. But, um, really... So, but I thought the price wasn't worth it either, but I just really wanted a mini version of my big one. They look so cute together. They're like brothers. Oh my God. Big brother, little brother, big Vlad, little Vlad. Or would that be like Vlad and Minia, who is <laughs> Vlad Dracula's firstborn son historically. That's so cute. Isn't that cute, Gomez? Yeah. They're just like, hey, we're so cute. Look, camera, we're so cute. The two family. Oh, now we need to get the Mina back. <laughs> um, so anyway, like, this actually is a good deal. So I wasn't sure. I just wanted a mini of him, and, and I knew I thought I was spending too much, but I actually wasn't. With this can and everything else, this is a good deal. So, yeah, seems well made. My big version has been very durable and stood, up, stood the test of time for a few years now. He's going strong. Um, this looks like a sturdy clip that is attached to the head of Vlad, the buddy clip, and so that's cool. 
nice and wide enough to go on most straps and whatnot. So yeah. And so yeah. Oh, 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 oh. The big one you can change the scent packs in. If you want to buy other Buddy Clip scent packs, the little ones you cannot. And it says so on the site. But just, you know, hopefully this will stay scented for a while. Maybe like you can spray him down with something or infuse him with something after. I don't know. But I'm not worried about it. I mainly wanted him for his looks and the scent will probably stay there for a long time. But I did want to say that part. So I think that has been a thorough review. I've covered everything from my experience to Scentsy and with Scentsy and UPS to the Bats Make and everything else. And before I become boring, I will depart. And until next time, stay spooky, my friends. <laughs>